without Bruce Pearl. Our Mike Rogers was with the volunteers in Charlotte this week, and uh, Mike, uh, you got more on that ever-shifting story. Hope you're exactly right. Uh, what a difference a year makes. Yeah, the firestorm started on Wednesday when Tennessee Athletic Director Mike Hamilton made some comments that did not exactly endorse Pearl coming back to the Vols next season. Now, Pearl was surprised by those remarks, but continued to focus on his team and last Friday's game against Michigan. But in the end, we were all surprised by a 75 to 45 defeat. Walking off the court for what could have been the last time as the head coach of the Tennessee Volunteers. It has been a challenging ride for Bruce Pearl, one that has left his team in disarray and disappointment. Some of our challenges this year, um, we're making each other better as a team. I didn't make the players, this group, as, I didn't make them better enough. They didn't make each other better enough. And we didn't grow uh, through the season. Having to grow through adversity and distractions was a year-long endeavor for the Volunteers. In a way, it was only fitting that their season would come to an end under more scrutiny. Basically talking about the whole season, how we just really didn't come together throughout the entire season. When, when things got, um, got bad for us and we, we had some ups and downs, uh, we weren't at our best, which we should have been. As veteran guys and strong players and being strong mentally, we should have came together and relished that as a team and, uh, and pulled together. It's been exhausting. Uh, it's like one, of, feels like one of the longest years of my life, and uh, it's been tough. But I feel like it's you know made the bond between me, my dad, and the coaching staff so much stronger, and uh, I'm just thankful for that. But the debate on whether or not Bruce Pearl has exhausted all of his options at the University of Tennessee continues. Despite an eight-game suspension for recruiting violations, the Vols still managed a 19 and 14 regular season record. They've averaged 25 wins a year under Pearl, and Tennessee made their sixth straight NCAA tournament appearance. Despite a first-round exit, the body of work this season may have exceeded expectations. You put all that stuff on the coach, and he said, okay, well, what kind of year was it? We we're, were picked fourth in the East. Teams picked fourth in the East generally don't make the NCAA tournament, but the SEC East was very good this year, and we managed to claw and fight and scrap through through all the adversity all season long. I mean, we've been unpredictable all year. I mean, I guess some people had us predicted right as, as a fifth seed, fourth seed in the SEC East. I mean, we've been an up and down team, but for all that we faced this year, for us to get to this point, I mean, it's still a blessing. And so the next step for Pearl will be the evaluation process, something that was promised by athletic director Mike Hamilton. This meeting is where the head coach will point out many of his accomplishments off of the court. Six seniors from this year's team will be in the 2011 graduating class, and every Vol who has played under Pearl for four years has received their degree. I feel there are so many positives. And we're fifth in the nation in attendance at Tennessee. Um, uh, the, the kids have been really, very well received in the community. Um, I think our program is in very solid footing. We've got to go before the committee of infractions in, in June, and, and it's going to be uh, difficult. And we, we made mistakes. We're going to try to be accountable for those mistakes. But my goal, my desire is to be the basketball coach of Tennessee next year and for a long time. Now, last Thursday, Pearl was the first to admit that he has made some mistakes. Now, he accepted full responsibility for the trouble that he has brought to the program. Now, he implied that the drama that surrounded the team this past week was because of his previous actions and not because of the words of Mike Hamilton. Hope, you know, I like how Bruce Pearl handled himself this past week. I'm not sure I would buy a used car from him, but I still like the guy. Depending upon the price of the car, of course. <laughs> I think he'd make a deal no matter what. <laughs> I think so. Uh, he's looking to make a deal now, I think, for sure. All right, already a sweet 16 